Hello, people. Good evening. How are you today? Everything good? How's everything? Hi, Nami. ¿Cómo está? How are you today? Hello, Roberto Carlos. Good evening. <laughs> okay, <how? laughs> okay, it's okay, Roberto. Hello, Maria Elizabeth de Lao. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Mm, I'm good. <laughs> okay, fine. Everything good. Okay, eh, so eh, what do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué recuerda de la clase de ayer? ¿Algo que recuerde? Uh -huh. Puede ser cualquier cosa. Eh, something you remember about eh, yesterday's class. En mi caso, yo ayer no entré a clases, teacher. Ah, sí, es cierto. Es, cierto. <clears throat> es la que no pude entrar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, ok, no problem. No problem, María Elizabeth Lao. So yesterday we were talking about frequency adverse sports. We practice a conversation in the breakup rooms. And also um, the conversation that we practice was this. Espérenme. Déjenme compartir la pantalla. Just okay, I'm gonna place this here. Okay, the conversation was about your manual and your manual and the unit number six. Okay, so about the unit number six, what is conversation? So um, we practiced this conversation yesterday. Okay. So hello, Lucia. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. So, what do you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué recuerda de la clase de ayer? Mm. <laughs> Cualquier cosa. Anything. Any word, any expression. The expression de los... se dice? Ajá. ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? Vamos a ver si se acuerdan. Ajá. Sobre el futbolista, los, los, sobre los deportes. About sports, ¿ok? Repita después de mí, Lucía. About sports. About sports. Ok. Yes, about athletes. About sports. About athletes. athletes. ¿Qué dijimos que era athletes? What is the meaning of athletes? He don't okay. remember. <laughs> it's okay. Athlete is like a Messi is an athlete. Eva Maria Dimas is an athlete. Eh, Cristiano Ronaldo is an athlete. Eh, all soccer players are athletes. Are eh, Also gymnastic people, they are athletes, right? An athlete. Eva Maria Dimas is like an athlete. Eh, Cristina González y Sano de la Aflit. Eh, quiero ver quién más. Atletas, ¿verdad? Atletas. Aflit es singular, es one. Aflit es plural. Aflit es plural. Ok. okay. So, eh, we practiced yesterday this conversation. Practicamos esta conversación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. And, can you see the conversation? Can you see the PDF? Yes. Ah, but we are we are going to start with the with the, all the general all the general information. So we are going we practice uh ah, pero todavía no son las siete, ya casi son las siete. Okay, so we practice um this conversation. Uh, so do you listen the pronunciation of this conversation again? Escuchemos la pronunciación. Give me a second. I am looking for the <clears throat> the audio. Okay, the conversation. Here we go. Ahorita yes. creo que no la va a escuchar. Teacher, antes yes. que otra cosa suceda, sí. <laughs> antes que empiece bien la clase, este, uh -huh. fíjense que yo estoy en la plataforma. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero ahí está, por ejemplo, la tabla que dice Take the Kiss. Ajá, and... uh -huh. ese uh -huh. no es, dicen que no es evaluado, solamente... 
eh, ¿cómo se llama? Apare eh, solo, porque solo aparece la imagen y no aparece ni ningún ejercicio, ¿verdad? Entonces, dicen que so Ajá, solo es la imagen y solo hay que leer la imagen, así, hacerle para abajo. Eh, scroll it down and then just, just, if you have any question about vocabulary, you can write it down. Puede usar el vocabulario que no sepa, pero dicen que no es evaluado. No es evaluado. Yo porque como está en el test, dije yo, este, pues, uh -huh. no me vaya a salir este después que no lo he resuelto. Porque uh -huh. en otra debería de aceptar el chequecito, ¿verdad? En uh -huh. el caso de la información que pide. Yes, exactly. Yes, it's true. No, pero dicen que no, no es evaluado. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes, okay. So, okay, let's, let's check it out about this. Where is the audio? Okay, here. Okay, give me a second. Okay, listen the pronunciation. Okay. I don't listen. Ah, yes, because ah, okay, okay, no problem. Okay, ahorita. Uh, yes, the, the problem is that I have to click here and optimize the video. I don't know why. No sé por qué me pide eso siempre. Okay, listen again. Permítanme. Give me a second. Que este, este audio que tengo creo que está. <laughs> Exercise three. Conversation. Ahora? Now? Yes? Yes. Okay. I hardly ever exercise. Part A. Listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early. And I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, so do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation about, the, about yesterday's conversation? Questions so far? Tiene preguntas o no? No encuentro esta conversación. Ok, en your manual es la página. Déjeme revisar qué página es en su manual. Just give me a second. Aquí está. Free intermediate. Ya, ya lo encontré. Ya. Okay. Ah, va. ¿Ya lo encontré? Sí, oh. ya. Ah, ok. So that's nice. Very good. Uh, ok, so you have a, a question with vocabulary or pronunciation. Pero sí puede ver la imagen. Sí, ahora sí. Ok, so, uh, ajá. Sí. So, do you have any question? Vamos a ver, dos voluntarios que quieran leerla. Eh, un voluntario tiene que ser la, la chica que no entró ayer. ¿Quién fue? Who was the person who didn't... Eh, fue, no me acuerdo el nombre. Who was the person who didn't... Uh, Lucia, right. Lucia is going to be Mary. Lucia is going to be Mary and... Este, ¿Quién más? Volunteer to, for being Paul. Voluntario para ser Paul. Uh -huh. Yo de hecho, yes. yo. ¿Ah? Yo, yo puedo leer con alguien. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién dijo yo? Noemi. Ok. So, Lucia is going to be Mary. Um, Noemi is going to be Paul. Ok. 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 Yes, Lucia. You really fit Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave wait for an hour. Mm -hmm. Ser Seriously. Seriously. Seriously? Seriously? Sure. Mm -hmm. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? 
About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real, a real coach mm. potato. A real, I'm a real a couch potato. Okay, very good, very good. Now, so, uh, exercise. Uh, so, question with vocabulary, couch potato. Couch potato is a, la a lazy person. It's an example, for example, Garfield is a couch potato. <clears throat> a fitness freak is a person who really likes to work up at the gym. Okay, so the pronunciation you have, what about you? You said, what about you? I hardly ever exercise. How often, <clears throat> how often do you exercise like that? How often do you exercise like that, right? Okay, um, more questions? ¿Tiene más preguntas? No, no questions. No, no. Okay, no. that's nice, very good. Okay, so, uh, so you're going to listen the rest of the conversation. You're going to listen the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? Okay, you are going to answer these questions. Va a responder estas preguntas de aquí. Okay. Uh, so, can you help me to read the in in instruction, please? <laughs> Eh, Glenda, Lizeth Guzmán, ¿me ayuda a leer la indicación? The instruction B, please. Letter B. Yes. Okay, teacher. Uh, listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in this? Do Paul do in his free time? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yes. This this is the question. Okay, the question is, what else does Paul do in his free time? This is the question, right? That you're gonna answer. Do you have uh, any doubt with the question? Any doubt with the, what are you going to do? Can the preguntas como que va a ser? Oh no. Clear like your chara. <laughs> no, 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 no. Seven, exercise three. Okay, is clear what are you going to do or not clear? No, clear. Okay, you are going to listen the rest of the conversation. Usted va a escuchar el resto de la conversación and you are going to answer this question. Answer, answer, responder this question. What else does Paul do in his free time? Other activities that Paul does in his free time. Okay, now, ahorita escuche y me dice lo que, any word, any expression you listen. Lo que escuche, usted me dice <coughs> lo que escuche. Part B, listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? Do you listen it? Yes. Okay. Yes. What else do you like to do, Paul? Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. Okay. ¿Qué escucho? What did you listen? Tell me. Any I more? play in He plays video games. Video games? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Video games? ¿Qué más? Okay. What else do you do, Paul? Right? I play in every day. Okay, excellent. Very good. I play I play them every every day. I play it or I play them every it day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time too. Well listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. Okay, what else did you listen? ¿Qué más escuchó? Any idea? Cualquier cosa? Something else? Cojo alguien de democráticamente. Ajá. What else did you listen? ¿Qué más escuchó por ahí? Yes, hello, hello. Where do you play? Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Okay, yes, okay. That's nice. Now, we are going to listen again. We are, vamos a escucharlo otra vez. Repeat, please. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? I have some great new oh. games. What? Yes. Yes. Okay. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. Okay. So, uh, what else did you listen? Uh, what did you... No, la escuchó. No, solo la la última frase se escuchó. Really? De veras. 
Page 37, exercise 3. ¿Me escucha? Do you listen it? Yes. Ahora sí. Part B. Okay. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? What else do you like to do, Paul? Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time, too. Well, listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. Okay, what else does Paul do in his free time? Okay, vamos a ver. Voy a escoger la persona. Aquí va a salir alguien. Okay, uh, Ruth Abigail Caballero is in the class. Hello, Ruth. Are you in the class, Ruth? No. Okay. So, vamos a ver. Uh, so, um, I'm going to choose a person. Voy a escoger a alguien. Vamos a ver. Uh, Héctor Enrique. Hello, Héctor Enrique. Hello, teacher. Hi, Enrique. Héctor. Can you ask the question to... Eh, ¿Quién me puede responder la pregunta? Volunteer to answer the question. Eh, casi no se oía el audio, solo se oyó cortado, entonces no puse mucha atención, que digamos. Ah, no, you are going to ask the question. You are going to ask ah, this okay. question. Ajá. Yes. Okay. Can you read the question, Héctor Enrique? The question. What else does Paul do in this free time? Okay. Who, who has the answer for this? What else, what else does Paul do in his free time? Uh -huh. What is the answer? He play what? He play? He plays? Video games. Video games, excellent, right? He plays video games, right? Now, in yesterday, we, we, okay, excellent, very good. We were talking about adverse of frequency, right? How often do you exercise? I like weights every day. So once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often much. Usually and sometimes, uh, usually and sometimes, uh, lo podemos utilizar este de aquí, usually and sometimes can begin a sentence, right? Can start the sentence, right? Like this, usually or sometimes. Usually I exercise before work. Sometimes I exercise before work is correct, right? But most of the time, most of the time, the adverse frequency, they go off uh, before the bird. Then you have uh, the adverse frequency, and then you have uh, the bird, right? Adverse frequency, and then you have the bird, okay? So it's clear this? Yes, it's clear, the adverse frequency? Yes. yes. Okay, the adverse frequency are these, always, almost always, usually, Often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. Y esto lo vamos a ubicar siempre atrás del verbo. O sea, van a ir en esta parte. Van a ir antes del verbo, ¿verdad? So, the, uh, the adversal frequency and then the verb, right? Solo usually y sometimes, a veces lo, eh, pueden ir al principio. O pueden ir a, antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Y tenemos estos que son como especiales. Como, no, como que si no siguen la regla, tiene every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often, and much. Ok, les había quedado de tarea resolver este, ¿verdad? Que creo que es la misma que está en la plataforma. Right? Can you help me to read the instruction, please? Me ayuda a leer la indicación. Eh, Jessica Lisset Campos, please. Can you help me to read the instruction? A. Oops. Jessica. Okay, uh, put the adverbs in the correct place, then practice with a partner. With a partner, right? For example, in the number one, do you play sports? Entonces, le vamos a, uh, we have to use ever uh, in the question, do you play sports? How do you put the, the adverbs in the correct place? How? Uh -huh. What is the answer for the number one? Do you play sports? Ever, where do I have to say ever? Where, where is ever in the in the question? Do you, do you, do ever you play sports? Is correct? Do you ever play sports? Okay, here, right? Do you ever play sports? Excellent, very good. Sure, I play soccer. And the, uh, the frequency advert is twice a week. 
So, what is the frequency adverb? Uh -huh. ver, In sure, I play soccer twice a week. I play soccer twice a week. Very good. Uh, now, the number two. Can you read the number two, please? Uh, vamos a ver. Manuel Alexander Aviles, can you read the number two? Uh, what do you do hmm? usually on Saturday mornings? Uh -huh. What do you do usually on Saturday mornings? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, thank you. It's okay. What do you do usually on Saturday mornings? Is what do you usually do on Saturday morning? Okay, yes. Aquí, aquí ponemos el frecuencial, ¿verdad? What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? Remember that the frequency adverbs all, always are going to be um, <clears throat> before the main verb, right? Now, you did that follow the number two, letter B. Can you, you did that follow? Hello, Judith. I think it's not a yes. big one. Okay. Yes. Can you read the number two, B? Two, B, this one? Not, nothing much. I sleep until now. I want oh. okay. Almost oh. always. Repeat that for okay. me, Judith. Almost always always almost always right now almost okay. always yes thank you so much okay so uh so almost always where is in the is located uh-huh almost always where is located nothing much uh-huh donde lo ponemos almost Al always huh Yes. Where? Where? Almost always nothing much. Okay. I almost always nothing much. Uh, no. 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 Is nothing much. Okay. I almost okay. always okay. sleep in until noon. Okay. Okay. Pueden ser dos opciones. Puede ser que vaya al final porque es de, de estos que está aquí, ¿ok? O puede poner, lo podemos poner a donde con respecto al verbo sleep. Ajá. Iría adelante, before o after the verb sleep. Before. Before, right? I almost always sleep until noon. Eso es one option. The second option is I sleep until noon almost always. Now, the number three, Noemi. No, no, ayuda a leer la number three, Noemi. Do you do aerobics? Do you do aerobics at the gym often? Mm -hmm. eh, okay. ¿Qué me dice la respuesta? Con often, often. No decimos la letra T, ¿verdad? Often, often. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you What? often? Do, do you, you often? Do aerobics. Aquí iría, ¿verdad? Aerobics at the gym. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Perfect, excellent, that's nice. Okay, uh, so the next one, the number, the 3B. Uh, can you help me to read it, please? Um, Maria Jose Torres, Cucufate. Maria Jose Torres. Hola. Hola. No, uh -huh. you are eating. <laughs> It's okay, don't worry. So this one you are gonna read. Esta, esta vale. Okay. The number three B. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I do aerobics hardly ever. Okay. So hardly ever. ¿A dónde está? ¿Está bien al final? It's okay if it is at the end. No. 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 Uh -huh. What is the answer? No, I hardly ever. No, I do hardly ever aerobics. Okay. I hardly ever. No, I hardly ever do. Uh -huh. I hardly uh, ever okay. do aerobics. Está bien, no problem. Number four. Can you help me to read the number four, please? Eh, vamos a ver. Uh, Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Roberto Carlos Cartagena. Are you available to read the number four, please? Yes or no? Okay. Rommel, are you available to read number four? Rommel? Rommel, Rommel. Okay. Do you exercise on Sundays? Uh -huh. Okay, and what is the answer for do you exercise on Sundays using always? ¿A dónde ponemos el always? 
Do you always oh. exercise? Excellent. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Very good. Okay, so, uh, okay. Miguel Angel, the number 4B. ¿Será que nos ayuda, Miguel Ángel? Ok, teacher. Ok, eh, so, no... solo leer la, la number 4B, this one, este. No, I exercise on Sunday, never. Ajá, uh -huh. what is the answer for no, I exercise on Sundays, never? No, no I, I mean, never. I no? never exercise on Sundays. Sunday. Yes, I never exercise, aquí diría, ¿verdad? I never exercise on Sunday. Ajá, uh -huh, está bien. Number five, can you help me to read the number five? Saúl Alejandro Alvarado Vidal. Saúl Alejandro Alvarado Vidal. Are you available, Saúl? Okay. Uh, what do you usually do, do after class? Uh, what do you usually do after class? Ah, ya dijo la respuesta. What do you use, what do you, what do you what do usually you? do? <laughs> what do you use? What do you usually do after class? Sounds like a tongue twister, right? What do you usually do after class? Okay, number 5B. Okay, volunteer for the 5B. A volunteer. I go. Mm -hmm. I go with my classmate about three times a week. Okay, at the end, right? At the end. Al final, Lydia. At the end. I go out. Okay, repitamos. I go out. I go out. I go out. With... With, with my classmates. With, with, with my classmates. My classmates. About, about about three times. Three times a week. A week. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Now uh, I sent some questions to you. Yo les mandé unas eh, preguntas, verdad? Quiero ver. I, let me see. I send you the questions to the WhatsApp group. No me, no me abrió al, al, el mío. No sé por qué. Ok, I, I'm going to show you here. Lo voy a reenviar otra vez. Maybe it's problems with the... Maybe it's problems with the what? With the internet or with the sign out. Pre-intermediate from 7 to 8. Ok, you are going to discuss these questions. Se las voy a mostrar. I'm going to stop here sharing this one. Vamos a regresar. So I am going to... Sure, uh, here I want to share. Oops. Okay, Permit. Give me a second. The PD, uh, the PowerPoint presentation from seven to eight. Right here we go. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna close this. Here the questions are these. Okay, these are the questions. So, give me a second. Ooh. Todo, todo. I didn't read the agenda today. <laughs> so, but today is uh, the third day, November 1st, right? 2023. Uh, you know, the greeting, welcome, instruction, review, warm up letters, and snapshots, conversation, grammar focus, things, vocabulary, frequency adverse, platform exercise, feedback. Okay, so the auditives. Here, here you go. Conversation questions. How often do you? Okay, you're going to help me to read. La pueden ver o no? Yes? Yes. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay, so you are going to help me to read. Vamos a empezar desde abajo hacia arriba. Roberto Carlos, can you help me to read the first one? La number one. Roberto Carlos. How often do you travel? Excellent. How often do you travel? La number two. Stephanie Gumero. Mm -hmm. How often do you go for a work? A work? Wake up, wake up. How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? Perdón, teacher, estaba leyendo de abajo para mí. Ah, okay, no, no. How okay. often do you wake up in the middle of the night? It's okay, okay. Saul Alejandro, can you help me with the number three? How often do you go to the dentist? Go to the dentist. Uh, how often do you go... Go to, go to the dentist. Dentist, okay. Go to the dentist. How often do you go to the dentist? Okay. Ruth Abigail Caballero Martinez. Number four, the church. Church. Ruth. How often do you go to church? 
uh -huh, go to church, o los americanos dicen go to church, right? Go to the dentist, go to, porque tenemos la T entre dos vocales. Excellent, Ruth. Rommel, no sé si me ayuda uh, with the, this one. Eat candies. How often do you eat candies? Okay, Noemí Salazar Meléndez, the next one. Go to the doctor. Yes. How often do you go to the doctor? Okay, excellent. Miguel Ángel Clemente, can you help me with I love you to your parents? Hello, Miguel. Miguel, I think it's not available in... Oh, yes, uh, Miguel. Hello. Okay, hello. me ayuda a leer esta. How often do you say I love you to your parents? How often do you say I love you to your parents? Excellent, very good. Nice pronunciation. Mario Ernesto. So, uh, he is not available. Miguel, uh, Miguel Angel already passed. Maria Jose Torres. Majo, can you help me to read the next one? How often do you take? How often do you take your English book to study? Okay, to study, right? Okay, next one. Uh, Maria Elizabeth de la O. ¿Se puede? How often do you practice? Huh? How often do you practice sports? Sports, excellent. Next one, Manuel Alexander Aviles, brush your teeth. Uh, how often do you brush your teeth? Okay, the next one, you did Alfaro, listen to music. Okay. Eh, no veo, eh, permítame. ¿Cuál es? Is this one? Uh, uh, listen ah, to music. How often do you listen to music? Yes, that one. Okay. Uh, the next one, Hector Enrique. Often do you read? Next. How often do you read? Excellent. Very good. Uh, next one, Glenda Lisette Guzman, shopping mall. How how often do you? Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. Se me fue. Okay. Okay. Now. Shopping mall, this one. How often do you go to the shopping mall? Uh -huh. Go to the shopping mall or go to shopping mall. Excellent. Lucia, me ayuda con la siguiente. Buy clothes. Shopping mall. You go. No la ve. Como que después de English class, ¿verdad? No. no. Después de esta, después de la rayita roja. <laughs> How often do you buy clothes? Este fue, este fue en la, en la compu, que aquí no veo, pero me ahorita. Está bien, no problem. How often do you buy clothes? Clothes, clothes. Excellent, very good. Eh, ¿Quién ha participado? Who hasn't participated right now? Me, <coughs> teacher. Raise your hand. Okay, eh, can you read the, this one? The English classes. How often do you have English class? Classes. Excellent, very good. Yes, very good. Excellent. Now that you have a, how often do you go out with your friends? Quiero ver more esto. How often do you go to the movies? Uh, how often do you go for a walk? How often do you use the internet? You can say internet or you can say internet. The two y options quedó, are. Quedó, how often do you eat fast food? Okay, how often do you eat fast food? It's okay. Now, uh, so what are you going to do? You are going to practice these questions. ¿Cómo va a responder? How are you going to answer these questions? ¿Cómo responde las preguntas? Huh? For example, if I ask you, how often do you study English? How do you answer how often do you study English? I study English from, mon from Monday to Thursday, right? Okay. Uh, for example, how often do you go to the church? ¿Cómo respondemos eso? How often do you go to the church? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo respondemos? Eh, ¿Con qué frecuencia va a la iglesia? Una vez por semana. <laughs> I go to the church. I go once, to the church once, once, a a week. Week. once a week. Once a week, right? Once, once a week. Es, ese once, once se me había olvidado. It's okay. Now, si fueran dos veces, twice a week. Twice, twice a week. a week, right? Okay, so, eh, ¿tienen preguntas para responderlas? Questions for answering the, the statements.
Yes, no questions. Ok, so, what are you going to do? Los voy a mandar al breakout rooms. Uno de ustedes va a proyectar las preguntas si puede, y si no, pues las ve ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, que ya las tiene, ¿verdad? ¿Todas las pueden visualizar en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to have the breakout rooms and you're going to practice the questions. Okay, so let me see, let me see. Permítame. Okay, uh, so how many are you right now? You are 20. So I'm going to make... <laughs> Give me a second. Estoy haciendo el grupo. Okay, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Usted va a recibir la invitación y entonces se va a ir al breakout rooms. Eh, no. Okay, María José, no problem. Okay, Majo. Okay, okay so María José. Okay, so se queda Manuel Alexander Avilés. Y, okay, Manuel Alexander se queda. ¿Está bien, Manuel? Ok, está bien. Ok, porque María José no puede ahorita y Mario Ernesto has, has uh, something to do. También se queda eh, Judith Alfaro, Katia, okay. Okay, Lucía Mejía y Katia Rodas. No, Katia Rodas no. Yes. Okay. ok, here we go. Ya están abiertos. Usted va a practicar las preguntas. Usted va a hacer la pregunta. Eh, allí puede, pre puede preguntar el que quiera, ¿verdad? Y va a responder utilizando el adverbio de frecuencia antes del verbo. Por ejemplo, si dice eat candies, I always eat candies. I never eat candies. I sometimes eat candies. Ok, en el... Ok, ah, Lucía se fue. Vamos a Ok, vamos a Ok, Katia Rodas. Ah, pues sí, este, entre con Lucía. Ok. Judith, si no se vaya. ¿Está bien, Katia? Ok, está bien. Okay. Okay, yes. You're going to practice the questions, right? Practice the questions. Practice the questions. Okay. Me falta alguien con... Okay. Ah, pues... Um... Not, not joining. Okay, vamos a ver, not joining. Okay, me falta... Okay. Okay, you did. Ah, pues sí, vaya a unirse con Lucía porque está ella sola. Please, you did. Alfaro. Ok, de acuerdo. Ok, thank you. ¿Y cómo me uno? Me va a mandar. Ah, sí, eh, permíteme. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. En la tres. Ok. Espérame, no sé cómo. No le aparece allí join. Un cuadrito azul, join. ¿No? Me sale un cuadro de sala de, re, de grupo reducido. Uh -huh, Le doy ahí. Yes. Donde dice okay. join. Ok. Ok, está bien. Ok, vamos a ver. Noemí está con Ruth. Ok, ok. So, a los que se han quedado aquí ahorita, ¿quiénes son? Vamos a ver. So, ok, ok. Give me a second, give me a second, please. Vamos a ver aquí. Here we go. Ok, Lucía, hágale una, ask a question to Glenda Lisette. Uh, how often do you travel? Ah, pero Glenda creo que está en el otro, ¿verdad? Ok, ask one question to Manuel Alexander, please. Ya voy a ver los otros eh, compañeros suyos. Ok, Lucía, ask one question to Manuel Alexander Avilés. How often do you read Manuel, Manuel Alexander? Yes, how often do you read? Manuel, are you available? I, I never read. I never read. Okay, Manuel Alexander, ask one question to, uh, to Lucia. Ajá, porque uh, María José permi pidió permiso. Okay. Uh, Lucia, how often do you go to the doctor? How often do you go to the doctor? Uh -huh. Um... I a doctor. Uh -huh. uh, okay. 
go to the doctor. I never go to the doctor. I go, I go to the doctor. Um, I sometimes, I sometimes, recuerde, el sujeto y después el, este, ¿cómo se llama? El adverbio de frecuencia. I sometimes, I never, I always go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I... Always es siempre. Usually, siempre. usually. Usually, go to usually, the doctor. Go to the doctor. Excellent, very good. Estaba, okay, estaba this... buscando el, el adverbio que daba con, con, ah, okay, con okay. la visita que le hago al doctor. Ah, ok, no problem. It's ok. Ok, one question, please. Uh, ok, María Ernesto is not available. María José is not available. Ok, I'm going to ask you the question. Vamos a ver. Manuel Alexander, how often do you eat fast food? How often do you eat fast food? This one. Mm, I eat fast food uh, twice a month. Twice a month, okay. And the, all of those expressions are going to be at the end. Twice a month, once, uh, once a week, and so on, right? Very good. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Lucia Mejia, how often do you eat candies? How often do you eat candies? I, I never, mm -hmm. I never eat candy. I never, oh, I, oh, I eat. I never, I never, I never eat. eat. I never eat. eat. Uh -huh. Recuerde, I, eat. I el adverbio de frecuencia y el verbo, el verbo con el que está. I okay. never eat candies, ¿verdad? Eat candies. Yes. Por ejemplo, entonces aquí, aquí donde dice, how often do you? De, antes, en vez de el how often do you, en vez de how often do you, iría I never, I sometimes, I always travel. I sometimes wake up. I usually go to the dentist. I sometimes go to the church. I, y así, ¿verdad? En vez de how often do you, hasta aquí do you, le quitamos esto para responder, le ponemos el sujeto, el frequency adverb y el complemento que es lo que está después del you. ¿Está claro? Uh, ok, está claro. Ok, it's clear. Right? Do you have any question with the information or the statements? Um, uh -huh. Una pregunta le haré. Uh -huh. Ask me a question. Um, yes. How often do you go to the shopping mall? Um, I sometimes go to the shopping mall, but not always. I sometimes go to the shopping mall. Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, can you ask me please a question, Manuel Alexander Aviles? Manuel, can you ask me one question? Mm. How often do you go to the movies? How often do you go to? Mm, almost never. Uh, I I watch it in, in internet. <laughs> okay, I'm not a pirate, but I sometimes watch them uh, in the internet. Okay, so I uh, remember that. Uh, for example, you can say e internet or you can say internet too, right? As well. Uh, also, you can say goro, right? Instead of Go to the movies. Go to the movies or go to it, right? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Brush. Brush is like as a, the pronunciation is like a letter A. Brush my teeth, right? Uh, ah, otra cosa que le voy a decir en la pregunta le va a aparecer you, right? Your teeth. Pero en la respuesta no puede decir I usually brush, I always brush my teeth. Uh, your teeth. Porque si no está diciendo, yo, yo usualmente, yo siempre estoy cepillando tus dientes, ¿verdad? I... Entonces, entonces, no your, you're not going to use your, you're going to use my, my, my oh, teeth, my. my teeth, ok, my teeth, right? Ok, so, but do you have any questions? Para, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? Uh, how do you say tres veces? Twice, or three times. Lo más común es three times, pero también existe la palabra thrice. Thrice. T-H-I-T-H-R-I-C-E. Thrice. 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 Okay. thrice. Or three times. Thrice. It's more common three times. Sí, una vez Sorry? Uh, what the meaning of una vez al mes? Once in the month. Once in the month. One in the okay. Okay. More questions? Okay, we're going to continue with the uh, class. That's going to make it like 20 minutes. Okay, we're going to move to the platform anyway.
Vamos a movernos aquí a la plataforma. Ok, en estos momentos. Ok, in the platform, so you have a... Este ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Con ustedes. Ok, so we already have it. Uh, I don't know if you have any question about the platform. Any doubt you could have. Eh, vamos a ver, aquí eh, en este creo que tenían problema. Este lo hicimos ayer con ustedes. Yes. Ok, so we have a how often. Uh, so, can you help me to read the instruction, please? Eh, Miguel, me ayuda a leer la indicación. Uh, lo voy a hacer más grande, permítame. Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay. Complete okay. the following. Complete the following question. Guide yourself with the answer. Shows from how often, how well, how would, and how long. Okay, excellent, right? Complete the following questions. Aquí como si fuera una following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Excellent, very good. So this one I already done it. Eh, espero que este ya lo hayan hecho. Leonor ya le estoy dando la copia. <laughs> okay, so in this one you have some questions. Alguna, fíjense que cuando yo lo estaba haciendo y yo lo, yo lo pasaba, entonces, este, ¿cómo se llama? Me quedaba un espacio ya sea adelante o ya sea atrás y por eso no me lo marcaba. Bueno, entonces a veces la plataforma es un poco metódica en, ese, en el sentido de que eh, tiene que hacer exactamente como, como, como lo quiere. ¿verdad? Entonces, recordemos que al principio también va eh, capital letter, mayúscula. Capital letter. So, how good are you at the volleyball, right? How good are you? How long do you spend online? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasas en línea, gastas en línea? ¿Qué tan bueno eres tú en voleibol? How good are you at soccer? How good, how good are you at basketball? And so on. How often do you? ¿Con qué frecuencia tú? Play cards, juegas cartas. How well can you? ¿Qué tan bien puedes tú digital, verdad? Y a veces también nos equivocamos de, eh, ¿cómo se llama eso? Auxiliary. So, uh, por ejemplo, aquí algunas veces en vez de R ponemos do o ponemos can. Entonces tiene que ser el auxiliar que tenga sentido con, junto con la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ok. So, that's in the exercise. So, we're going to move on. Nos vamos a mover al siguiente, que este sí no lo hemos, no lo he hecho. Ah, este que me decían de que este no tiene puntuación, ¿verdad? Este solamente es, usted le da aquí en ventana emergente y lo va a mandar a una página, a otra página, another eh, website. So in order you can see it very well. Para que usted la pueda descargar, usted la puede hacer más grande ahí, ¿verdad? Esta, sol, esta no tiene porcentaje de puntuación, solo, solo dele aquí en enviar, ¿verdad? ¿Quiero ver? Sí, porque esta no le, no, no le va a aparecer en, en el progreso, no le va a aparecer... Solo le va a aparecer usted el enviar. Y, ok, y ya estuvo. Ok, and that's it. Eh, quiero ver, hay más aquí. ¿O no? Okay, Ahí me... no hay. Ok, then you have a, we have a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. This is about past, right? In the first exercise, so you have, ok, hagamos uh, este juntos. Help me to read the instruction. Me ayuda a leer la indicación, please. Glenda, no sé si me ayuda. Instructions, complete these conversations. Okay. Um, voy. Dice, okay. instruction, complete this conversation. Question and answer must be in simple past. Okay, yes, complete this conversation. Excellent, very good. Now, in this way, in the number one, what do you think is the answer? Number one, number two, or number three? Puede verlas ahí. Es number three. Number three. Pero si es una pregunta en pasado, el que no tiene que, el verbo, ¿qué pasa? Eh, aquí está en pasado el verbo. Ajá, el verbo, no, en la, ter, en la tres no está en pasado el verbo. Ajá, pero ¿y si la pregunta es en pasado? ¿Cómo, Ajá, cómo, tiene cómo, que cómo se? Verbo regular, tiene que ser verbo regular. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo sé que, 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 que la pregunta es en pasado si el verbo no va en pasado? Ah, porque el, el, al principio tiene que ir did. Ah, did ok. Did you, did you Ajá. stay? Ajá, ok. So, entonces, si tenemos aquí did you stay home uh, on Saturday, sé que la pregunta es en pasado porque estamos usando did, ¿verdad? 
Cuando usamos did, el verbo vuelve a la normalidad, vuelve a su eh, base form. No, I call my friend. We to a cafe for lunch. What is the answer? Number one, number two, or number three? Um, Number one. One. Okay, number one. ¿Y por qué la number two no? Ah, está mal escrita. <laughs> what, what about the number three? ¿Por qué la number three no? Porque el verbo está en... En su forma normal. Forma normal. ¿Cuál? ¿El call? ¿O el call? Dry? Call. Dry. Ah, dry, ¿verdad? Call sí dry. tiene que ir en, 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 en vuelve, vuelve a presente porque por el didn't, está bien. Pero este de ahí después del punto tenemos una oración afirmativa. Y en las oraciones afirmativas sí usamos el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? En toda oración positiva, afirmativa, el verbo en pasado. Menos en las negativas que usamos didn't, ya no, el verbo ya no va en pasado. Igual en las preguntas, el verbo ya no va en pasado, ¿verdad? Ok, that's good. Number three, how did you your last birthday? What is the answer? Number one, number two, or number three? Uh -huh. Ah, esta no la han hecho, entonces. <laughs> number three. Number three, ¿verdad? How did you spend? No, entonces el verbo vuelve a la normalidad por el auxiliar did, ¿ok? What about the number four? I have a party. ¿Es pregunta negativa o afirmativa? I have a party. I have a party. I have or I had a party. I have or I had a party. I have. I have. I have. I have. Pasado. I have. Porque esa afirmativa le dije que el verbo tiene que ir en pasado. Estas son estas dos opciones. Esta no porque está en presente. Everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors no like it, the noise. Uh -huh. uh, so, number one or number two? I have enjoyed. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Y la number one, ¿por qué no? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Uh, entonces, para decir oraciones afirmativas, no podemos usar did. Por ejemplo, uh, I, I did a party hub, no. No, ahorita en este nivel no. <ríe> ok, uh, um, okay. Eh, es que, va, es que es, o sea, en oraciones, va, ahorita en este nivel, en oraciones positivas, usted el verbo lo tiene que poner en pasado, en positivas, ok. De allí, este, pero, uh, más adelante usted va a ver, que, ¿Cómo se llama? Que para reafirmar, para hacer una re reafirmación, usted a veces, I did enjoy, usted utiliza el did, y si sí lo puede meter, pero ahorita está muy bien, pero es en otro nivel. Entonces, eh, okay. o sea, como para reafirmar, sí se mete el did, y sí se utiliza el verbo en pasado. Pero ahorita no, ahorita no, no vamos a ver eso. Entonces, ahorita lo que le, lo que le tiene que quedar claro es que en oraciones positivas, el verbo en pasado. En oraciones negativas, por el auxiliar, el verbo no va en pasado. Y en preguntas, el verbo no va en pasado por el auxiliar did. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. Okay. Sí, está bien. Ok, en este caso, mire, didn't like. El problema está que like está en pasado, pero como tenemos el didn't, el like vuelve a la normalidad. So you have to use the base form of like, didn't like. What about the number five? What you do last night? What is the correct answer? Number one. Number two, number three. Tell me. Number one. Number, number one. one. What did you do last night? Excellent, very good. Okay, number six. I go to the I go to the new Jim Carrey film movie. I loved it. Hmm? What is the answer? Number one, number two, number three. Number three. Number three. Porque este go no existe y este go se es en presente, ¿verdad? Y como la oración está en positiva. Toda oración positiva en pasado tiene que llevar el, pas el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Toda oración positiva, afirmativa, el verbo en pasado. Menos en preguntas, eh, no, eh, no questions, right? In, in negative or questions, 
no verb in press, no verb in past. You have to use the base form of the verb, right? What about the number seven? Number one, number two, or number three? Number three. Number, number two. two. Number two, number three. Alguien dijo que la number three. ¿Por qué la number three no? no number two. Okay. Porque y la tres, ¿por qué no podría ser? Did you did anything special over the weekend? Mm, because. Uh, because you're using what? Son pasados, los dos son pasados. Okay, both, both are in pass. Repeat that for me. Both, both are in pass. Are in pass. Ambos están en pasado, okay? So, uh, oh. yes, I did. I shopping, unfortunately, I spent all my money now. Sí, no sé qué es. <laughs> so, en este sería did, ¿verdad? Toda llevan did. When, what is the correct answer? Number one, number two, number three. Si es oración of positiva, ¿qué le digo? ¿cómo va a ir el verbo? The en verb? pasado. En pasado. Simple fast. Ok, eh, simple fast. Number one. Number one. Y la number two está malo el verbo. El, el, la tercera opción está malo. Esta, esta opción. Spend edit. Esta, ok. Number nine. You sing at the party. What is the correct answer? Number one, number two, number three. Number two. Number two, did you sing? Vuelve a la normalidad el verbo sing por, por el did, auxiliary did. Pero si no estuviera el did, si fuera una versión positiva, sería song. Ok, en pasado, ¿verdad? Y the last one, number ten. No, I, I was sick. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sería la opción... Tres. No, number one. <laughs> yes, it's number one, right? Es number okay. one, ¿por qué? Porque el apóstrofe, mire, solo el apóstrofe está mal. Error ortográfico. <laughs> yes, right. Ok, finger, finger, error, finger, run. Ok, no, no, I didn't, I was sick. Dice, did you sing it at the party? ¿Cantaste en la fiesta? No, I didn't. No, yo no lo hice. Yo estaba enfermo. Vamos a ver, let's check it out. Vamos a ver si me han mentido. Ok, so let's check it out. Ok, todas están bien. All of them are perfect, right? So, do you have any questions so far? Ahorita en estos nueve minutos que quedan. Questions? Solo no? reconfirmando. Hmm. Este, dijo que el did nada más lo usamos en las preguntas. Este, y el verbo se usa en, en normal. Ajá. Sí, en y preguntas. Cuando son, y cuando es este afirmativo. No se usa el did y el, y el verbo se escribe en, en pasado. Yes. Así. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. In affirmative, the verb is in past. In affirmative, in positive sentences, the verb is in past. En las positivas, el verbo en pasado. Solo en las positivas. De allí, en, la, en las preguntas y en la negativa, ya el verbo ya no va en pasado. Ok, so we're going to move on, rápido, nos vamos a mover, que aquí en esta parte hay bastante ejercicio, ¿verdad? Ok, so in this one is about listening, right? Este sí lo tienen que escuchar. Tal vez eh, mi recomendación sería de que le dieran aquí en ventana emergente para que pudieran escucharlo. Y este, cuando ya le escuchen, este, eh, se regresan para irlo chequeando, ¿verdad? Porque hay algunos que me dicen que han tenido problemas para escuchar el audio. Bueno, yo creo que... Ah, mire, aquí ya no, ya no me cargo. <ríe> no sé por qué. Ajá. Bueno, vamos a ver. Le voy a dar ventana emergente a ver que me, a ver si me lo... Como rese, tipo resetea. Aquí lo puede descargar, mire. Donde tiene la flechita para abajo. Ah, se puede descargar. Se oye, pero suave. Bueno, ahorita se oye suave. Aquí lo puede descargar, miren. Descargar. Ah. Cuando, le, cuando, cuando le da la ventana tan emergente, entonces lo puede descargar. Ok, so the next one. Uh, vamos a ver. Yeah, este, this one. Ok, so uh, you have a, a use the pass of the verb to be. How long your parents in Europe? Vamos a usar was or where. How long? No, where? Where? Why? Why? 
porque es tus papás. Para, para varias personas es were. Recuerde, que, recuerde que con el verbo tu bien pasado, que es was y were, ya no usamos el did, ¿verdad? Ya no usamos el did, ¿ok? Eh, con, eh, porque aquí la indicación dice, recuerda usar el pasado del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí en esta vamos a utilizar was and where. Entonces aquí, how long were your parents in Europe? ¿Ok? Para hacer la pregunta con was y con where, el was y el where lo pasamos al principio. No se usa el did, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Cuánto tiempo estuvieron tus padres en Europa? Estuvieron tus padres. Now, number two, they there for two weeks. What is the answer? They for were. Them? They were. Ellos estuvieron ahí por dos semanas. Number three, ¿ok? Let's move on to the number three. They in London the whole time? Where? Where? Where they in London, right? Where? The, where? So, aquí lo digitamos, where, like this. Aquí no sé si tendría, tendría que ir mayúscula, ¿verdad? Because it's the beginning of the question. Where they in London the whole time? Otra, otra característica que usted puede notar es que no tiene otro verbo la pregunta o la oración, ¿verdad? Entonces, en esta pregunta, mire, de ellos en Londres todo el tiempo completo, todo el tiempo. No hay otro verbo. Entonces, como no hay otro verbo, eso nos indica que es el verbo to be. Y también por el sentido de la pregunta. Porque dice, ellos en Londres todo el tiempo. Estuvieron ellos en Londres todo el tiempo. Por la coherencia de la oración. No, they. Where. 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 Right? Ah, Where. la otra cosa que les iba a decir. A veces eh, la computadora les da este apóstrofe que está así como inclinado. Y a veces creo que ese es el apóstrofe que no se los acepta. Eh, si alguna vez, si le saldría mal esta, por ejemplo, weren't, y usted está seguro que es weren't, entonces, entonces váyase al Word o desde el teléfono, en el teléfono sí le acepta. Eh, algunos teclados, al presionarle el apóstrofe, aparecen diferentes apóstrofes. Eh, en el Word eh, aparecen donde dice... Otro, uh, ¿qué se dice? Insertar. De, en la opción insertar, después de la opción insertar, le aparece al final símbolos, que aparece como un omega, algo así. Entonces le da allí y allí sí le aparece el apóstrofe correcto, que es una, una pliquita así recta para abajo. Ok, now, number five. You in Los Angeles last weekend. ¿Sería? ¿Was or where? Where. Where you in Los Angeles last weekend. No, I wasn't, right? No, I wasn't. 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 A ver si me toma este apóstol, pero bueno. Wasn't. I was in San Francisco. How was it? How was it? It was great. Voy rápido porque ya se me acabo. Ya solo tres minutos tengo. Ok, number nine. So, where are you, verdad? En la number ten. Yes, was. I was. I was in Istanbul. Cuando esté ahí. Answer the first one. No, right? How long were your parents? Eh, they were. Eh, okay, vamos a ver. Let's check it out. Okay. Ah, mire lo que le decía. ¿Sabe por qué me tira mal a esta? Por la apóstrofe. Por el apóstrofe tiene que ser, eh, ya va a ver, lo voy a mostrar. En, en tiene dónde que está. ser como recta. Exact, exactly, tiene que ser recta. Entonces, en todo lo que cambia el apóstol, en todo lo que me carga el Word, le voy a pasar la asistencia. Vamos a ver, Glenda, ahí está, ¿verdad? Present. Yes. Eh, de, eh, de Zelda Elizabeth. Present. Héctor Enrique Guzmán. Present, teacher. Jessica y, y Judith. Present. Ok, uh, Jessica y Judith. Judith del Carmen. Judith. Aquí está, mira, aquí me la mandó Manuel Alexander, la, la apóstrofe. Copy, le voy a dar. Thank you, Manuel. Eh, Judith, no. Judith, yo la vi en clase, ¿verdad? Eh, Karen Elizabeth, yes. Karen Elizabeth. Karen Elizabeth. Ajá. Ok, Karen, Karen Elizabeth, ¿está o no está? O no ven si han mandado allí este control B. Ya va a ver, le voy a cambiar aquí, mire. El apóstrofe, en vez de ponerle el inclinado, le voy a poner recto y ya me la va a tirar buena. Ya va a ver. Mire. 
El problema era el apóstrofe. El apóstrofe tiene que ir recto, no inclinado. Ya está programada, sí. Sorry, sorry for you. Ok, so, eh, quiero ver la, la asistencia. Entonces, um, Judith, uh, Karen, Lucía del Carmen, present, right? Manuel Alexander Áviles. Manuel. I'm here. Ok, María Elizabeth de la O. I'm here, teacher. Ok, Mario Ernesto y sin dejo de esperar por permiso. Noemí Salazar. Present, teacher. Roberto Carlos, thank you, thank you. Roberto Carlos. Here I am. Ok, Rommel, present or no present? Here, here. Ruth Abigail Caballero. Here. Saúl Alejandro. Present. Ok, Stephanie Beatriz Caballero. Present. Ok, ok, so, ya no pude, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, hacer las otras actividades que quería, pero ni modo. Ok, so, eh, if you don't have more questions, so see you tomorrow. Have a good night, ok? Teacher, mañana vamos a tener clase. Ah, no, mañana creo que no. Nos, eh, les aviso por el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿sí? Ok, Pero, teacher. Creo, creo que es Thank el reto. Creo que es el reto nacional. Ajá. Ajá, okay. así no me entiendo. <laughs> ok, see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night.